Good morning, you guys. I thought I'd show you a little OOTD. I'm wearing head to toe new flora because clearly I have a problem. But I'm really feeling this outfit for like transitioning from summer to fall. I feel like it's very flowy and light, but also I'm not cold. Down by the bank. Down by the bank. When water runs poopy. When water runs girl. Back to my poopy. Back to my home. I be a not poopy. I dare not go. Daddy's about to leave for a work event. We will miss him very much. Down by the bank. Trying to quickly whip up some breakfast for myself before Matt leaves. I've been on like a breakfast burrito kick recently, which is so weird because I've never been a breakfast burrito maker at home. But I picked up Mexican food like a week ago and they had the best salsa in the whole world. And we had extra containers of it. So I've just been looking for excuses to use them. So I've been having a lot of breakfast burritos. So that's what I'm gonna do. Fun fact, I am kind of scared of cracking eggs even though I can do it with one hand like a boss. The other day I was really craving one of these and we didn't have any tortillas, so I just made some tortillas. And I have to turn you guys on to homemade tortillas because they are so easy. I think it's literally four ingredients, just flour, hot water, salt, and vegetable oil. And they are so good. They're so much better than the store-bought ones. So definitely not something I'll do all the time because it is like a little higher effort with having to like roll them out and fry them, but they are really good. This seriously took less than five minutes. And I'm so excited to eat it. When I'm solo with the kids for the day, I always try to get out of the house because I feel like they behave better and I am less frustrated when we get out of the house. So I think we're gonna go to the library. Just kind of all leave at the same time. I also have a few little house updates to show you guys. My office refresh is finally complete. I got these gorgeous wreaths um, from Nearly Natural. I'll try to link them for you guys. They're like hydrangea wreaths and they look so real so i put one on each door and then i finally got that last panel of wallpaper excuse the mess but look at this this one is definitely a slightly different color but that's on me for not measuring properly the first time i think that this slightly got a little bit faded from the sun because it was up here for so long before this one went up so i'm hoping that it like all evens out but this door is like that most of the time anyway and i just think that's so cute I also finally got my hands on a blue and white quilt. I'm obsessed with this one. It's from the 1930s. The pattern is called Goose in the Pond, I think. And I got it on Facebook Marketplace for under $100, which was so cool. I thought these were little stars. But if you look at them real closely, they're actually tiny little flowers. And this is now my prized possession. I feel like it makes the living room so cozy. I wanted to update you guys on some of the hormonal stuff that I was talking about in the last vlog. I feel like my hormones are just going crazy from weaning. So I've been like doing a couple of things to make myself more comfortable as I readjust. The PMS vitamins that I've been taking have been working really well. Like I'm not wearing any foundation right now, just concealer under my eyes and like a spot here where I had um, like hyperpigmentation from old blemishes, but I'm not breaking out right now. That might be because I'm in my ovulatory phase, but I feel like it's working. I've also been taking that ashwagandha tincture and I feel like it's helping with the night sweats. I've had way fewer sweaty nights recently, but part of that is probably also because of the pillow that I mentioned in the last vlog. And I'm so excited because Marlo is actually sponsoring today's video. Video. So I found out about the Marlo pillow because I have Brooklyn and Cheats and I love my Brooklyn and Cheats and I guess that they're like sister 
Brands and Marlo makes this pillow that's designed to help you get better sleep, which I was all about, so I had to try it out. What I like about this is it's chopped memory foam, and then there's also a down alternative microfiber in here, and it's also adjustable, which is so cool. My last pillow was adjustable as well, but it was like you had to take the stuffing out of it, which always just felt kind of gross to me, but Marlo figured it out, and they have this cool like zipper. So if you want your pillow to be firmer, you can zip the side up and they have one on each side. So if you like it really soft, you can keep both unzipped. If you like it in the middle, you can do one of each. And if you want it really firm, you can zip both of them up. This was awesome because Matt and I have different pillow preferences, but I was just able to order two of the same. So they like match in our pillow shams and we can customize them. I also got the cooling pillow protector that they make and this has made such a difference. Like it's literally cool to the touch right now. I've been sleeping on this for four nights now and I feel like I'm getting some of the best sleep of my life. Marlo is having a back to school sale right now. So if you need a little bit of energy before you have to start waking up for school drop off, you can get up to 30% off site wide plus an additional 15%. The link will be down in my description. You don't need a code. I wish that I could take a nap on this right now. library was not open yet and now we're at the park because I had them in the car I promised we were going somewhere um, and the park is soaking wet because it rained last night Rowan says he doesn't mind so he's just gonna get a little wet and then we're gonna go home drive off it's gonna be fine but oh man this could have been planned better this is this is my real life so there you go We are home. I just got the kiddos fed and down for naps. We had some big feelings about leaving the park, both of them, but it's okay. We worked through it. I have to be honest with you guys. I am really struggling with their relationship right now and I don't know what to do and it's making me feel like such a bad mom. Like I see all these other moms online whose toddlers have this amazing relationship and like yeah they fight but they love each other and they want to play together and that is not my kids and it's just got me feeling like what did I do wrong? Because I tried to be so careful you know like I tried to be very intentional about setting their relationship up for success but at the end of the day so much of it is out of my control like you know they're human beings and honestly Juniper's not the problem like she loves him but he wants nothing to do with her like 90% of the time he is struggling now that she is older and wants to play with the toys in the house he's struggling letting her do that even if it's a toy that he was not interested in not playing with like as soon as she has something that's what he wants he did start picking her up last week and like moving her around which I think is positive like that's good um I don't know if it's just that he's really missing the one-on-one -on -one time with me or what like yesterday I took him out for solo errands and we were sitting in our garage getting ready to leave and he was like I'm so excited that it's just mama and Roro and I try to be really good about doing that with him at least once a week but it's tough it's tough trying to manage the two kiddos and the job and all of that so if you guys have any tips for sibling bonding please let me know because I am lost and I want them to have a good relationship or like to have a relationship right now he just like kind of ignores her and he doesn't want her to sit next to him and if she gets too close to him he gets up and walks somewhere else and he's not like hostile to her most of the time unless he's like trying to take a toy from her I'm hoping maybe him going to school will help with that his orientation is a few days from when this video goes up so wish us luck but I think being around other kids on a more regular basis will hopefully help. But yeah, your girl needs all the tips. Please help. I really need to clean up the kids lunch and do dishes. 
but I have some pressing work tasks that need to get done first. So we'll see. First up is that I have to film some try on stories for Halara because I totally spaced when I made the YouTube video for them um, that I had to do Instagram stories. So I'm gonna go and do those, which honestly isn't too bad. The clothes are really cute. So <laughs> I like trying them on, so that's lucky. And then I have to proof a video um, to see if it's ready for upload and if not get edits back to my editor, Tara. And we'll see how much time we have left after that. If you are looking for the cutest summer outfit, can we hear it for the dress? This is so sticky cute. It's like, it's like an athletic wear material. to go and edit some content in my bed, I fell asleep. So I've been sleeping for an hour and a half. It's another thing that did not go as planned today. And I think my body needed the rest. We've really been burning the candle at both ends with these like full work and parenting days and then turning right around when the kids go to sleep and working on the main bathroom right now. I've really been hitting it hard the last couple of weeks and we're so close on it. I'm hoping to start tiling here in the next couple of days. And then after that, the tub and the vanity can go back in and get hooked up and it will just be the shower, which is like kind of its own thing and will probably be a while, um, but the majority of it will be done. But I'm so exhausted. It looks like fall, huh? Yeah. It's actually still summer. Can you believe that? That means snow? <laughs> no, summer means sun. June bugs awake. Good morning. Can you say bye-bye to your binky? Thank you. No! I am thinking some iced coffee and a walk outside might be in order. What do you think? You wanna take a walk, Roro? Yeah. Uh, do you wanna go visit the apple tree? Get some crunchy apples? Yeah, let's go, fam, fam, and walk down to the driveway and go past the stop sign. Okay, but you need some shoes. hotter out there than it looks. I am properly sweating. Poor Juniper was in a long sleeve shirt. Of course she was just in the stroller. I was the one pushing it. But I like brought a cardigan because I was like oh it looks gray like I might get cold. Nope. I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> we also got our mail and my little photo book for my sunrise breastfeeding session came. PSA for anybody who doesn't know Shutterfly does one free 8 by 8 hardcover book every month if you have their app. I did get suckered into it because I do pay for some of the upgrades, like the matte cover, and then you have to pay for shipping. So I think it ends up costing me like $15. But I have like a little library of these now. I think I have like six or seven and they all stack nicely. So I continue to buy them. But I just think it's so special to have stuff like this actually printed out. And these photos are just stunning. Like look at the stinking herd of elk that were there that morning. Neuron's on his second apple. And daddy's home! Hello. Woohoo! He's home at 4 instead of 5.30 because it's still technically work from home month. Dada? He just had to go for an event, so. the obnoxious yeah. music. 
but we have just enough time before dinner for me to do a little toy rotation because this playroom is looking not so cute. So we are going to swap them some things out. I haven't done this Mama, in a long time. Mama, can you find my, can you find my drill? I sure would like to. That is much better. We've got some stuff for her, some stuff for him, and then a couple of things that they can both play with. Also, yes, this old iPhone <laughs> is in use as a toy. How millennial are you? But that is looking much better. And I cleared off the top as well. They've actually already been playing really well independently, so I didn't like a need to do this, but I'm just trying to get back into the routine of rotating every couple of weeks because I do feel like it helps with behavior. It is dinner time here. Yeah, bam, bam. <laughs> and then the reno continues tonight, and that's what? its own video. If you guys like the stay in the life, be sure to click here for my vlog playlist. I have over a hundred vlogs with me and the kid I was just hanging out, so definitely feel free to binge. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Okay, say bye-bye. Are you being shy? Good job.